Grand Central Market in the heart of downtown LA has been offering a range of flavors for 106 years. In a way, the market is the crown jewel of dining for downtown Los Angeles. And while vendors have come and gone, the market is now in a period of noticeable turnover, with empty stalls and others under construction preparing for new arrivals. Farley Elliott is a senior editor with Eater LA. Especially in Los Angeles, where we haven't really always been great at holding on to our history, people draw attention and attractions to the things that matter to them in the way that they've mattered over the years. So now all of a sudden, the places that they used to count on are no longer available. At least five vendors have plans to or have already moved out. PB&J LA, Clark Street Bread, Horse Thief Barbecue, DTLA Cheese, and longtime vendor Chili Secos, which came to the market nearly 50 years ago. They decided to simply retire and move on. But ultimately, change is good for this place. It is meant in its modern iteration to be a kind of hybrid space for people to grow a brand and then hopefully branch off and have other locations elsewhere. The owners of Grand Central Market, who took over in 2017, say none of the departures have anything to do with rent increases. None of these were based on any rent negotiations or or rent concerns or anything of that nature at all. Some of the vendors who will be moving in have been announced. The Instagram worthy sandwich shop on Melrose, Go Sando, will take over DTLA Cheese's booth. Bakers Needed will move into Clark Street Bread's old spot. Others are being kept under wraps. I think all we can do is just try to maintain the authenticity and uh, the fact that we're bringing in people from our community. Diners we spoke with say they're excited to try something new. Restaurants come and go. We all survive. So I think it's a good, it's a good thing to, to have some fresh ideas and some fresh food. And for the most part, the owners are trying to move in vendors that have similar offerings as the ones who moved out. They mm. want to have variety, so there's something for everyone. And that's the great thing about Grand Central Market. Mm. I did not realize that when it first started, it was truly a market. Yeah. And people who lived up on, you know, Bunkers Hill came down. Um, and you know what's there is Angel's Flight. Yes. So you can make like a whole day out of it. Yeah. Come down that, go to Grand Central Market. We did run into a lot of tourists, but a lot of people who work and live downtown love it yeah. as well. It's always been, I've only been a few times and it's always busy when Whenever it is. I, I recommend going to on a weekday if you've never yes. been there before, but yes. um, it's a great place. And, you know, you and I both have big families. It's nice because everybody can get something different. Exactly what they want. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Christine.